Um, a note on Rascuala by Livio Rebrand. The Uprising. I'm not a big fan of um, Romanian works, unless I'm talking of a few, Eminescu, uh, even Cătărescu is fun, but not with Orbitor, and, but with a funny works like uh, the Chibin Femeile, Fumoasele Străine, the Belle Tranger, and um, there are a few others that I like. Some poets, actually. Tomer Fletoli Kurgru, Mladie Kaun Speak the Gru. That's Kosh book. That's something I like, and I will have to come back to that sometime. But speaking of uh, this, this is a uh, a landmark, considered a local masterpiece, and it had an impact on me. And I have to admit that um, although I don't really think one should read what this guy writes or the other or the other just because we happen to uh, live in the same place and then apply this at the national level. So I don't feel that's a criteria. But then, patriotism is uh, not for this note. Mm, but it is uh, an important um, quality, which I may lack, but still, uh, I feel, um, I feel it. Anyway, I will just mention this in passing, since I'm supposed to talk about uprising, not this, but there it is. Um, I kept hearing, aici la noi, mai la noi, apoi în România, apoi orice se poate. Here, so many bad things happen, and it's only here that... No, that's not... Uh, for one thing, this innate patriotism, whatever, makes me think and say, well, that's not true. I have experiences with others, Americans and more, which, uh, uh, which um, prove that it's not a, a local specific. But then, um, uh, to continue with the, the uprising, uh, it had a tremendous impact. It deals with uh, um, facts. I mean, inspiration comes from reality based on, as I said at the beginning of such a film, such a movie. It's based on real uh, happenings. Uh, there was a big uh, major uprising. Indeed, there was a, uh, a huge uh, difference between those who had and those who didn't uh, have uh, land. Uh, there were, uh, uh, I, I don't want to give a figure, but it seems something like 5% had, I don't know, 80-90% of the land. Which is the case today, in the world of today, there will be a, uh, the top 1% who have uh, like the equivalent of, uh, uh, I'm just again throwing a figure from the top of my head, 30% of the rest of, of the world. So this created the premises of a revolt, of violent uh, action, and this is reflected in this powerful, good book, actually. So, no matter where one stands on patriotism, we, we have to prefer what is written, as I said, by those around me. I will never write, by the way, read what they have to say. <laughs> I know them. Uh, but then, uh, uh, no matter where one stands on this, it's still a 
a major uh, a major work, and it had a a, a big impact. Uh, also because uh, because um, I used to refer to certain pages quite often. That's because they contain some erotic uh, page pages with erotic experiences. <laughs> Not much, in fact. I looked a little earlier on nothing. If we speak in the literature, and what's available today, written word and especially four thousand films, that sounds crazy. But then, uh, fortunately, perhaps mm, I'm not sure. Uh, I had access, and we had access to very little in those days. So there was this page where I frequently went, went to this uh, uh, Petre, this revolutionary, um, forces himself, so there you have a, also a bad uh, example, uh, in fact, uh, an example of what must not happen, must not be, upon his uh, mistress, uh, who on the other hand belonged to this class which oppressed uh, manipulated, tortured the poor people who starved. 